Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and Web Designer Tech Tips. Well, they've done it. Divi, Divi's finally done it. Elegance themes have brought out uh, an update to the Divi theme that allows you to actually customize the product pages in WooCommerce. We've been waiting for this for a long time and it's absolutely awesome. Uh, Divi theme just keeps getting better and better. If you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you check it out. If you want to take it for a test run, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So here we've got a, a product page. And I've actually customized, this is one I previously did with custom CSS to make it look like this. Without this, it looks pretty boring. And what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll undo all this custom CSS and we'll start start styling it with the new Divi options. So I've got to go back to my theme options. And if we, here's a product page. And this is all the CSS that I've written below it. Let's just cut that and put that on the bottom so it will no longer apply to it. And I think I had a separate one for prices a little higher up here. Here we are, prices. Let's comment this out so it doesn't work either. Save those changes. Once updated, if I go back to that page and refresh now the background image and all the customizations that we made to this page will disappear. There we go, we have regular product page, regular price, re regular buttons, got the sidebar on the side, usual sort of product page. So now let's enable our visual builder and see what we can actually edit with this. Great, once loaded, if we just go down and everything we roll over, you see we can edit this row, this message, the text, the button. We can edit the title, the price, description, button and quantity. So let's start. OK, this first little thing here. Let's just get, grab a couple of colors from over here and paste them into a notepad so I've got them. So what's this green? I'm using Google Chrome. I'm simply going to right click click on the element I want to inspect and hit inspect okay that green must be down here somewhere there we are I just want to copy that number and let's have a look what the red is we'll use this number as well or this color as well I should say inspect this one there we go okay so I've got my red and green colors that I've probably going to use with this. So let's start. Um, OK, that's fine. Section, row, module. I'm going to go into the module. I'm going to change that to our green background. At the moment, it's the default blue. Let's copy my green color. There we go. Fantastic. Well, that was easy enough. How about can we give it a box shadow? Let's go to our design. Something like that. Yeah, we can add the box shadow. That's fine. What about our text? Can we make our text any bigger or smaller? Oh, can we capitalize it? Yeah, we can capitalize it. We can make it bigger, smaller, and obviously change the color if we need to. Great. And yeah, what about this button? Let's click on the little paintbrush. Yeah, we can customize our button also. Um, I won't spend too much time on any particular one thing. I'm, I might go over this in a lot more detail in a, a different video. Okay, let's make our button text that green color. Like I said, I'm just flying through this to see what we can actually do. That's fine. I wonder if we can add a bit of box shadow to the actual button itself. There we go. Yeah, fantastic, great. Simple as that. Well done, Divi. I've been waiting for this for a long time. 
Okay, what do we want to do with our title here? Like I say, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Let's make it bold. There we go. And not a whole lot else I want to do. <laughs> let's capitalize it. Let's make it central. And let's capitalize it. Colors a bit brash, but that's fine. Brilliant. Well, let's leave that at that. Let's see what we can do to this price right here. Before I had it a sort of green rounded background. I wonder if we can recreate that. Let's have a look. This might do the whole thing. I think I've still got my green color in there. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Let's give it some padding. Let's go to design and spacing. Say, so give it uh, 30 picks top and bottom. 30 picks left. We well, don't probably don't need that much left and right. Let's say five picks left and right. Let's make a bit more. Let's say 15. Okay, now let's make the width a lot shorter. So let's go to sizing. Like I said, I don't want to spend too much time. Max width. Well, let's just put in width. Let's say 150. 50 pixels. Yeah, still a bit too much. Let's go 100. Too little. <laughs> okay, let's compromise. Let's say 130. That's fine. And we want that, that pricing text to be in the middle. So if we go back up to price text, can we align it? There it is. There we go. Now we should be able to set the borders and make this an oval. We could make it around by making it deeper. We can play with that. So let's go to border. And I want it, I want that check because I want it to do all of them. I'm going to put 50% in there, not 50 pixels, 50%. Yeah, that's pretty much done it. That's great, 50%. We could make it deeper. If I made it the same height as width, it'd be perfect around. So if we go back to sizing, if you wanted to do that. sizing so you made it 130 wide let's make it 130 tall as well oops it's a little bit too big right there try that there we go of course we've got to give it more padding on the top to push it down to the middle there I'll uncheck that because I don't want to too much on the bottom, let's say 60, too much, 50, ah, that's fine, and why don't we make that white, just click on the little paintbrush, there it is, Junk. there we go, that's pretty good, we could actually give that a box shadow as well, if we wanted to, Quite sure how that'll work on there. Let's have a look. See, that's fine. Okay, great. Well done, Divi. And moving on, let's see. Well, I don't really want to do anything to the description, but you can do if you want to. Let's just save this module. Obviously, when you hover over it, just collect that. Um, let's customize this button. Let's make it this red color, perhaps, with white writing. So let's click on there. Here we are, there's the button. Custom stars for the button. Leave the text as is at the moment. Button text color I want to be white, so that's going to disappear. It's fine. Button background color. This is where I want it to be that red color. Let's change it to green on hover, how about? So let's put our red in. Or our whatever color that is, crimson purple whatever it is so we've got that for our regular state and if I click on this let's put the green in 
for the horror state. Text and everything, I'm going to leave exactly the same. There we go. Perfect. And again, let's put a little bit of box shadow on there. Okay. And the border. Let's take that border away because I don't think we need that border or we can make it the same color. Here's the border. Let's just take it away. Zip. We want it to be taken away on both hover and desktop state. So zero on desktop, zero on hover. For some reason, I'm still seeing it there. Just save that, see what we've got. We may have to go in and make that red. We'll see, but you get the idea. That's, that's shaping up very well. Okay, let's just save our changes and exit the Visual Builder. So there you have it. There's how to do some customizations with the new Divi WooCommerce customizer. What a great little new feature. Well done, Elegant Themes. I hope you've enjoyed that. We'll be doing more videos on this topic as we go on. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.